Hi, this is Austin. Today, I would like to show you how to integrate this function. As we can see, let's say we differentiate 1 plus 2x, we are not able to obtain x or e to the power of 2x. And so, if let's say we differentiate the numerator part, we are not able to obtain the denominator part. So, which means that when we integrate by parts, we will simply split the numerator and the denominator. Let the numerator be 1 and the denominator be the other. Recall that the function, the formula, integration by part. So integrate u dv is equal to uv minus integrate v du. So from here, the choice of u and dv is very important. The rule of thumb of using in the integral integrate dv, we will take the simpler part. So which means that we will think of the denominator. Recall that let's say we have integrate 1 over x squared dx. For any negative power, for any negative power or what we call the power on the denominator part, when we integrate, we will plus 1 over power plus 1. So as we can see, negative 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 1, which means that we change the number 2 to 1 and make it become smaller than simpler. So we will make use of the denominator part as the integral, so the numerator part be u. So we have u e2x and integrate dv is equal to integrate 1 plus 2x power negative 2 since it's the denominator so we have differentiate u with respect to x since what we want is du so we have to differentiate u then differentiate u as we can see apparently this is the multiplication of two terms then we apply the product rule and we should obtain x differentiate this part so when we differentiate exponential function we should obtain exactly the same and don't forget to differentiate the power and we obtain 2 plus e to the power of 2x times differentiate x so we obtain 1 so remember let this part be u and this part be v so we have u dv dx plus v du dx so we should obtain e 2x we can factorize 2x plus 1 apparently we can see that this is exactly the same as this, the inner function of the negative power. So we can simplify later. So this is the intention what we, why we want to differentiate this. Then for the integral, we should obtain v is equal to, as we can see, when we differentiate 1 plus 2x, we should have 2. But 2 is missing, so we add. Of course, we cannot simply add because if let's say we add, which means that this is already 2 times more, more than what we have. So what we do, we just times 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 times 2 uh, become 1. So we will still be the same. So if let's say here we have the derivative of this. So when we integrate, we basically can ignore this. We no longer have to refer to this and we can treat this as x simply x so what we have to do we just copy the number in front of the integral and the derivative we ignore and this inner function we ignore we just copy exactly the same so we should have 1 plus 2x just copy ignore no need to integrate or differentiate the inner function since we already settled here then the power plus 1 over power plus 1 so which means that the v is equal to neg negative 1 over 2 since negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times half, negative half. Then 1 over times 1 over 1 plus 2x. So we have negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 which is the reciprocal. Okay, we already settled. Now we can substitute into the formula. So integrate x e to x over 1 plus 2x to the power of 2 dx is equal to u where are you so x e to x times v times v so we have negative 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 1 plus 2x then minus minus v 
in the grade V. So negative, negative, positive. So we have 1 over 2 times 1 over 1 plus 2x times du. Where are you du? So we don't have du yet. So this is du dx. What we have to do, we just let du equal to, we times the whole thing by dx. So which means that du is equal to e to the power 2x times 2x plus 1 times dx. So we just copy here, e to x, 2x plus 1 times dx. So as we can see, we have the common term here, one numerator, one denominator. So which means that 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. Cancel each other, left only one. We can first simplify, we, which means that we should have 1 over 2 times 1 over 1 plus 2x times x e to the 2x plus 1 over 2 take all since it's constant. Then we integrate e to x dx. Now we left only this to be integrated. So this is simpler. What we have to do, we just check the power. As the power we have here is 2x. When we differentiate, we should obtain 2. Again, cannot simply add a number. So we will have to divide the same number as well to make it become exactly the same value. We just change the pattern. Since we have the derivative here already, so when we integrate, we can treat this part as e to the power of x. When we integrate e to the power of x, of course, we get back the same thing, which is e to the power of x. Then we should have equal to negative 1 over 2 times 1 plus 2x, x e to the power of 2x plus 1, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, 1 over 4. Ignore this, since this is the, in the, the derivative of the power. So what we have to do, we just integrate e to the power of 2x. So we obtain e to the power of 2x. Ignore, no need to differentiate or integrate this part because we have the derivative here already. Remember to add the constant. So the next step is to simplify what we obtained. So as we can see, we have 1 over 4 and we have 1 over 2. So this is smaller in value. 1 over 4 is smaller than 1 over 2. So we will make 2 exactly the same denominator as 4. When we simplify any function, it's easier if let's say we standardize the denominator. So we times 2 to the denominator. Of course, cannot simply times 2 to the denominator. Remember, we can change the pattern but not change the value. So we have to times 2 as well. Then we should obtain negative 2 over 4 here. Then times 1 over 1 plus 2x times x e to about 2x. And we plus 1 over 4, the denominator exactly the same. So nothing to do with this, but we have this. So of course, we can times. Again, do not simply times anything to the denominator because this will change the value. So we times exactly the same thing to the numerator. So we can cancel, then we obtain 1. So we just change the pattern without changing the value. This is very important. Okay, so now we can factorize and simplify. So negative, since we have 1 over 4, we take 1 over 4 out. So this one no more, this one no more. And we have times 1 over 1 plus 2x. This one no more, this one no more. And we have ex for two terms also can take up. So which means that we should left only negative 2 times x. So negative 2x plus remain plus 1 plus 2x. Then plus c. As we can see negative 2x plus negative plus positive 2x minus plus cancel each other no more and we left only one anything times one we get back the same thing so which means that we should have one over four times one plus 2x if let's say we want to times in of course can then we times e to the power of 2x don't forget we still have a constant plus c and we 
done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.